so one of the consequences of um, setting a game in a wilderness area like Yellowstone is that it's a lot of beautiful scenery, but it's also a lot of the same scenery. You know, you've got your grasslands and your forests and then some, you know, creeks and, and rivers and, and things like that. But a lot of it looks the same. <laughs> you're in one part of the map. It looks a lot like when you're in another part of the map. Um, but there are a number of natural landmarks that um, are particular kind of points of interest. And we've always recognized one of them in Wolf Quest, and that is the Fossil Forest, which uh, in the early game we just recognized by marking it on the map. There was nothing actually in the 3D world um, for it. We finally rectified that in Wolf Quest 2.7 by adding some models of petrified tree stumps based on what's really there. But now that we're stepping up our game with a much more detailed and realistic 3D environment, uh, we decided it was time to uh, create some new models for that. So what is the petrified forest? About 50 million years ago, this area of the park was uh, full of trees, not like it is now, but different species of trees, redwood trees, maples, magnolias, oaks, a lot of things that aren't growing there now, as well as some things that do, like pines. And back then, Yellowstone was very geologically active, well, more geologically, even more geologically active than it is now with all the geysers and hot springs and stuff like that. But there was actual volcanic activity. And uh, 50 million years ago, some volcanic eruptions um, in the area buried the forest in ash. And so over time, um, the organic material of the trees began to decay and groundwater started to seep in and uh, this groundwater was rich in silica and that um, preserved the buried forest by, ba by basically freezing the wood and halting their decomposition. And so that's what petrified them. And then over time, erosion weathered away the the ground here and exposed some of these uh, stumps and, and such from the forest. Other things found here weren't growing here, but the volcanic eruptions pushed them down the slope. And so some of the downed logs that, that are found here actually came from some distance away. So here is um, this area of the cliffs of Amethyst that overlook the Lamar Valley. Um, and so in one little section is here where the um, petrified trees have been eroded and exposed. So we've been working with a terrific young artist, Alex Young, in England, who has produced some really beautiful models. I got the first batch from him um, last week, and so I put them into the game. And some of these tall trunks, you know, you might uh, have noticed in the current game, there's some short trunks, and in fact, short enough that somebody put a wolf skull on top of one. Um, turns out, these can be much taller than that. So here, we'll put our handy dandy one meter cube in, in here. We'll pull that there. That's a one meter cube used just for reference scale. So yeah, these things are like three meters, like 10 feet tall. Um, they're big. Um, so they're really, be big in the new game, but look at these, look at these models. Aren't these just beautiful? And you compare it to the real thing, he just did an amazing job at capturing that that stone appearance, um, the, the bark and wood turned to stone. Really excited when these started coming in. So those are some tall trunks. There's also these other things. This is, this is a petrified um, trunk, but it's just extremely weathered. So it's in this really odd shape. I will add a little blending between the rock and the ground there to make that uh, look less like it's just stuck on it. It's actually based on a redwood trunk, so it's really big around. So that's like two, two plus meters in diameter, it would have been. A lot of it's eroded away. But you can see, you can, it's very, very uh, um, trunk-like. You can really see the, see the rings and stuff. Um, so that was last week's batch, and now Alex has sent some more. So let's check these out and, and, and uh, put them in the, into the game. Oh, let's see. Here's another one. Yeah, you can really see the, I mean, they do look like trees, except fossilized. Um, and here it's kind of eroded away in the middle. That was, you know, kind of the softer area. So these tend to be kind of be on um, flat areas where the, the, the ground has eroded away underneath them. So let's put this one out here on this point. That's a that's pretty good. Maybe a little closer to the t edge. It's 
it's really kind of that's how it's gotten exposed. All right, that is a beautiful one, isn't it? Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay, more trunks. This is cool because you can see the root system that's been petrified and then exposed. And I think there's actually a lot of smallish trunks like this, kind of littering the area. Um, we want to kind of turn this so that, oh, not that way. So the, those roots are exposed going down the slope. So that's a nice trunk. What else we got here? Here's a, oh, here's a big trunk. Okay, I'm going to put this up by, by this cluster here, these tall trees. Wow, that is a big one. That is beautiful. That's actually the, that's the biggest one of all. Oh yeah, another one of these kind of misshapen ones, which probably you should put kind of on the edge here because it's kind of gotten exposed from the, um, as the slope erodes away. There we go. So, you know, this is, you can kind of see the trunk and then oh, how, why is it thicker here? Did it, how did it erode? You know, these things open a lot of, uh, open up a lot of questions about how exactly they formed. That's pretty nice. Let's see if we can put that terrain blending on this. Yeah, that's, that looks better. That's how it's supposed to look. So it just kind of helps it, helps it uh, look part of the terrain more. Well, here's a nice down log. Again, these got these these weren't growing here. They got pushed down here as the volcanic eruption, the flow, the ash flow, rolled down the slope and pushed them along in front um, until they got stuck or the, the the flow stopped. So these are going to be a neat little spot to go hang out in. I think it's nice to have a, some landmarks like this. There are a couple others um, which we're going to be putting in the game that are based on things that are really there or uh, could, could likely be there. So obviously this is not an essential thing for um, the release of Amethyst uh, Mountain, the first episode of the game in Wolf Quest 3, but um, it is gonna be a nice touch and it's something uh, that we're, we're doing while Tommy and Nick and Zach and Andre are working on a lot of the kind of hardcore features and testing and tweaking and fixes and stuff like that. Um, so we're moving forward on multiple fronts as we are getting the game in shape to release initially uh, as early access on uh, for Mac and Windows computers on um, Steam and WolfQuest website and Itch.io, followed later at some point by Slough Creek and then getting the mobile version in shape and ready to release. So that's what we're looking at in the coming months and uh, we'll show more next week.